What's up guys, Lucky13 here, and today we're going to talk about the Logitech X56 Rhino um, and Star Citizen. So 3.5 PTU, and what I've done to get it to work, I'm not sure if I've overthought the situation or over uh, worked it. Uh, my throttle was acting kind of odd, um, backwards would go forwards and forward would go backwards. Uh, I know there's a program selection in Star Citizen that inverts it but I'm not sure if that's the case but basically what I've done is I've turned these into bands the right throttle and the left throttle so it's 0, 33, 33, 67, 67 to 100 and uh, this is my left throttle which doesn't do anything uh, for the flight mechanic it's just the right throttle uh, and I turn it to 0 to 50, 50 to 60 and 60 to 100 percent uh, I'm not really sure this does anything at the moment, but I was better safe than sorry. So I just went up here and saved that. Um, and for the settings, I turned my throttle 1 and throttle 2 into a um, flat dead band, which is right, located right here on the right side. You just click this, and then you manipulate your dead band in the middle, which is like a no active movement so like when you move your throttle it's it, 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 and you put it into the center of your uh, position it doesn't react because there's a little bit of a lean way there for a zero of no gain and no uh, recess so you can see it kind of just stops in the middle for a little as I move it back and forth um, moving it down actually goes up, which is odd, and moving it forward actually goes down. Uh, you know, as long as the game can pick up on how it wants to, to for that to work, that's totally fine. Uh, I think I said this to 250, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it gives me a longer delay, which does, it doesn't change uh, anything speed-wise in the game, so that's that's a plus. Uh, let's see. Okay, once we get here, main menu, options, keybinds, advanced controls, um, the, the Cytec 56, X56 is super, super close. Um, there may be a few things that's a little bit different. I'm pretty sure it's like the same setup as Logitech, um, but you gotta move your mouse, keyboard and mouse to joystick HOTAS. Go to flight movement, and then... I made throttle forward backwards as the um, throttle, which all you gotta do is move it in one direction and it picks up on your axis. And then I think it's under controls. I changed again Hotas. I think it's Hotas 2 is what mine set up as for some reason. Um, straight forward and backwards. Flight straight forward backwards. Put yes. And I think it picks up that it wants to do the 50-50, like halfway is nothing, and then from halfway to forward goes forward, and then halfway to backwards goes backwards. So I'm pretty sure that um, that fixes that. So um, you might want to come in here, and it's under flight, flight movement. Don't select all of these, because um, obviously just the throttle is the only thing you need to throttle. You don't need your throttle to roll you or y'all or pitch so uh, yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it um, hopefully this helps a lot of people who are you know having problems uh, as for the keyboard layout I'm sure it would be something similar um, for the movement Let's see this says mouse because this is under mouse and keyboard um, throttle let's see backwards forwards straight forwards backwards invert I want to clear this because I'm pretty sure this will invert your uh, if you push forward you'll go backwards obviously um, and then throttle forward W and throttle backwards S so and if you change this back over to HOTAS um, you'll see throttle forward backwards as one rather than throttle forward because I don't think it's under keyboard if I'm not mistaken 
Yeah, see, it's it's not here. It's just forward backwards. There is no throttle forward backwards split, so it's just for Hotas uh, or uh, your throttle. So, and I put a little pieces of Velcro pretty much kind of centered on the uh, on the throttle itself, uh, just to kind of give me an idea of where it's at. That way, I can just kind of feel the scratchiness, or, or I can hear the scratchiness. And you can kind of feel the like you're rubbing your feet on carpet, but it's obviously on the throttle, and it kind of gives me an idea of where zero's at. That way, I don't pass it too much, um, just to kind of indicate it. So, yeah, hopefully this helps some, some people who um, are having problems with the new flight model, and hopefully this will take care of it. I'm sure they're going to still tweak it a little bit. Uh, because I was having some problems where I was actually throttling forward and I was going backwards. And I don't know if I had this inverted uh, thing set. But I just kind of kept playing with it, playing with it, playing with it. And I went to Arena Commander and uh, Free Flight under single player uh, game mode. And it changed a lot of things and helped me out. Dying Star is the best one because I'm pretty sure Broken Moon, it, was, it used to have a roar sound in it. And it was really aggravating to try to work with stuff and then have to listen to a roar or you can just turn your audio down which it doesn't really matter all right guys um haven't updated in a while so uh enjoy and game on